Hello guys, uh, this is an extension of the last tutorial about uh, CSS and the way how you uh, use it and how you uh, can uh, make those changes what you need to make to your program and working with GTK and so on. So. Uh, in the last tutorial, uh, I was forgetting to tell you about something very special. So uh, I will run the program now, and as you can see, we have our uh, application which has a button which has a color of uh, uh, yellow with a which with a background of red, and the border is black and so on, and uh, the background of our window is blue so those changes uh, happen because uh, with the help of the CSS now uh, what happens if we create two buttons well if we are going to create two buttons and uh, we were uh, going to make those changes here then uh, we will have uh, two buttons of the same color form shape and border everything but how can we create uh, let's say a special button which doesn't look like uh, all those buttons which maybe we have them and or we need them to be the same for this there is um, something which uh, I forgot in the last tutorial to tell you there is a function which is called uh, gtk widget set name and this function, okay, I already see that I forgot the first parameter, which is the button in this case, uh, because this is uh, the widget which we want to change our button, and we give it a name, and um, like an identity or something to to know uh, that those changes from this button should happen only to this button and not to all other buttons like uh, probably they can uh, take place in to our program so let's uh, call that identifier I said my button which is uh, I know let's overwrite the main button okay so we had it like red we'll do it blue the color yellow we will do it white okay blue brown because our window is already blue brown uh, the color is white we'll save it run it and as you can see our button now is brown and uh, the text color is white now there is something special which I want to show you. There is, a, as you can see, I dropped the border radius. Border radius. I used it last time 100%. Let's do it again. So, save it, run it. Our special button now will be round, of course. And now, watch what's happened if I'm going to maximize this window. As you can see, our button is nice and round, which is okay. It's not. Yes, <laughs> round is more oval, but it's kind of round. Now, let's use this into the main button. Okay, save it, run it, make it bigger and his it's still the same okay which shows you that it works fine for uh, let's try this uh, gtk offers you uh, an option to create a circular run button and uh, there is a roundness option in the gtk base now which you can make this button run without the help of the gtk i will drop the for for a moment uh, then uh, identifier name from our button 
to can take use of this uh, function to create a class uh, for our button and for this we we have uh, this function this function uh, gtk style context add class we are copied and we go to our applications interface and here is the function gtk style context add class and says add a style class to context so boss there calls to gtk style context gate of any of gtk render style functions will make use of this new class for style link so takes two parameters that's important now the first one is uh, the context and the second one is the class name in the first uh, example we we are setting a identifier name and now we are setting a class name for this and uh, when we run this program okay uh, we have a run button which works fine but if we need to make some changes to our button see we have no border radius here and on and here then uh, we can uh, call this class of buttons with a dot and uh, button and the same like here we will use uh, let's say another color I know or orange and again tar. save it run it and nothing happens why something I was doing wrong let's see oh okay sorry <laughs> because we did a circular class and not a button class sorry about that save it run it and as you can see we have an orange button which uh, with a magenta background from our text color and uh, probably this is all I don't know if um, there is something which I miss it like in the first uh, tutorial I will uh, definitely use it in our next or our upcoming tutorials to show you more uh, options which can uh, help you to understand the uh, way how the GTK uh, works together with CSS styling so until then see you next time guys and if you like it like I said and let's like say all the time please subscribe see you